video. I'm Ramon Carlton. I'm here with Eddie Osborne. We're at the White Eagle Polish Hall, and there he is, the challenger, the former global champion, Laxadartha. The Lord's Warrior is on a mission to reclaim his gold, but will he be able to conquer the man who seems to win all the time? The Triple Crown Champion, the first and only in 365 Pro Wrestling Tag Team Grand Champion, Global Champion. I mean, I don't want to take away from the Lord's Warrior here. He brings a lot and he has a very impressive record. Not many folks have beat him, but Kaviko being one of the few that actually get a victory in the books over him. Not many other people can get uh, even in the ring with the Lord's Warrior, but Kaviko, he is on fire. He is indeed. He just came back from Ontario where he defended that championship in Guelph, in Kitchener, and in Hamilton, Ontario against some of the very best wrestlers out there. And uh, now he's coming back to a hero's welcome. But I don't know if I'd want to be in this party against Laxadartha. Oh, Laxadartha, he was backstage and there was a couple of trainees got in his way. And well, I hope they can make it to class, but that's okay because he wants that belt. He is hungry for it. He's been dreaming of it again. He feels like it was taken away from him. You know, so we're going to see what happens here tonight. But there he is. Oh, no, no. That is the tag team championship that Haviko held. The grand championship. Which would mean only one thing. There's the champ with the global. What an entrance there. Showing the history of Haviko. Kind of showing the different renders of his mask as well. The championships he's won in the three years of or two years now 365 pro wrestling this guy's been on fire he's been almost unbeatable and now he's at the top of the mountain he's the global champion and uh he, he's a fan favorite both these wrestlers are so it'll be interesting to see who they choose to cheer a little bit more but size does not matter when it comes to having Oh, no, absolutely not. If you haven't seen Haviko wrestle, folks, you're going in for a treat. Check out our previous stuff. Look at it. Haviko is a high flyer. He is called the mayor of Monkey Flip City for a reason because he is the mayor. 100%. Probably one of the highest flyers in 365, and he also has the speed to go along with it. And he doesn't know any fear. Not at all. He worked hard in the very beginning. He worked harder and harder and harder, and here he is as the champion. I think his technical side's a little underrated. He's a very good technical wrestler as well. Uh, Black Siddhartha, though, his style would be Maul, Name, and uh, Kill. Kill, kill, kill. So it's going to be interesting to see because if Haviko cannot get his high flying moves on uh, Siddhartha, he may not get out of here. But Siddhartha can't overpower Haviko. Same problem. Yeah, man. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our main event the 365 Combat Lack. Oh. Haviko for the Global Championship. Lack just attacking Haviko out the gate with those knees, that big fist. And now he's going for those crazy. Uh, oh no, he went from the line in the corner. He usually hits six, seven of those in a row. Habiko avoiding. Obviously, study tape. Obviously, using his speed to his advantage, but there is the power I was talking about. It's power versus speed in this one. Woohoo! Black Siddhartha whipping Habiko across the ring here. Following it up. And again, he moves out of the way, does Habiko. Oh, knee right on the button there. Habiko rings that arm, goes for a whip. Habiko. Not moving Lax Siddhartha once again, knees in the corner. Oh, well, Lax Siddhartha in control here. Vico's keeping his own. Can he? Oh, this time he does not get out of the way. Um, and out to Vico. I don't know how, how, uh, how Lax Siddhartha can yell like that because it takes up so much energy, and yet he still runs around that ring like nobody else, <laughs> naming and, and just hitting people so hard, choking them, kneeing, clotheslining them. Looking for that big F5. He'll, if, he gets, if he gets that F5, that is severe trouble for Aviko. Oh, all, takes Aviko right off his feet with that clothesline. Aviko, of course, looking for that kill switch or the Fujiwara armbar. But it, it was a roll-up that uh, secured him victory at the Market Square in Victoria where he won the championship just three weeks ago. Oh, big kick to the face. 
Rolling clothesline coming up here. Oh, Avigo just throws him. No. Avigo's out. Oh, <laughs> Go for the kill switch here. This could be it. Spins him around. Avigo says the arm. Oh, Avigo pulls the rope down. Lacto's flying outside. Outsmarting him there. Smart move by Avigo. Avigo's going up. Oh, what's he looking for? I mean, that big knee. Ooh. It's, it's rust kick after. Followed up by that flying knee. And the first time Laxar falls down is on the outside of the ring. That had, that had to take a lot out of him. Oh, that absolutely took a lot of him. Vico brought everything, using the height advantage of the ring to his advantage. Now he's up on the ropes. Looking for that crossbody attack. That was a crossbody. Laxar picks him up in the gorilla. Whoa, straight up. Look at that power. This is the fans reacting. Slam there. Black could be going for a pin. He is, but more hands not gonna. Not, not against Avico. Take Avico down. Oh, just picks him up and throws him into the mat. Treat him like an infant almost. An infant or a rag doll? Just dot. Oh, picks him up by his throat. Picks him all the way to his feet, backs him in the corner here. Lacks it out the. Heals him. Oh no! Amico lands on his feet. Avoids. This is how he won the match. Black crashing that poor. And he's trying for history, Pete! Ooh. That would have been something right there. Black kicking out and clotheslining Amico into the canvas. He remembers the oh. nightmares for the past three weeks. Well, that's what be even nightmares and all his fire to keep. Uh Ooh, fighting back into this ring, and here he goes. I don't know who's going to win this one. I, I've partnered with Lack. I've partnered uh, with Habiko even way more recently, and both are great competitors. Lack now has Habiko way up in the air, but what happens if Lack doesn't win this? <laughs> if Lack doesn't win this, I just think everybody should leave the building. But that's then. We got Habiko because if Habiko wins it, he'll protect us. There we go. Again, going for a kind of... Lacks cover. That's that's not a good cover. I don't care who you're pitting. You gotta really cover because a, a millimeter of shoulder up can cost you the match and cost you the belt. Definitely. Pants now getting behind the Vico here. And he's firing up, throwing shots at Lax and Arthur. Cut down right away though with the vicious knees. And Vico's proving time in, time out. He's won every championship in 365. The first person to do that. So uh Whoa! He's him around, twirling Uranagi. Sits out with it. He should be going for a big pin again. Just one hand. That's not going to beat Haviko. Not at all. I mean, Haviko just, I guess it just has to get one shoulder up just a millimeter, and that counts broken. I mean, he's able to kick out much more effectively, but. Black now. Picks him up. Oh, Haviko just stumbles back down. He's taking a lot of abuse. Throw him right outside the ring. What's Lack looking for here? The fans, they're not sure what to think either. Loving both wrestlers here. Lack is uh he's a fan favorite, that's for sure. And Hiko's one of their own, so. Oh, absolutely, they love Lack, they love Hiko. So actually in some ways, uh, whoa! I think he did. It's someone that says a dream match because you're seeing two of 365's best just battle here, yes! Avico! That's exposed metal right there. Bench his arm on it. What an event. He may be. Maybe. Oh, look at that move. Cross arm right there. Back on the stomach though, so maybe not as. It's very effective. You don't often see Lack in pain. It's close. I don't think I've ever seen Lack tap out in my life. Lack's been wrestling for 18 years now. Oh, it looks like Heavy Go Might on looking pin. Referee, nope. He checked the shoulders there. There he was face. Picks him up with one. Oh. Oh.
This is obviously effective, although Lax is right back down. He was he had a moment, but Haviko able to lock it back in. This could be it. Oh. Oh, there's that power. This might be it. Oh, look at that. Haviko slides out the back door. He's going to hook up for Diamond Dust. Oh, ho, ho. Haviko hits Diamond Dust. Lax and Arthur is stuck in the corner. Haviko needs to capitalize right now, and he is. Violent knee. Here's another one. Coming in hot. Haviko looking for the trifactor. Oh, he gets it. Hit him. He rolls into the middle of the ring. He hooks the leg. Oh, and Lax of Dartha kicks out on two. And he's already back up to his knees. Oh. To his feet. This might not be good for a vehicle. He got him up there. No. Went for that double choke. Must be still hurt on that arm. A vehicle working it over. Let's see looking up here. Oh, looking for another arm breaker there. Lax said no, though. Oh. Kick to the arm. That works. Yeah, usually you look for the guy's head, but that was smart. He's really... Oh, no. He gets caught. One arm chokes him. The problem is Lax has two arms. And that one caught him dead and stopped him dead in his tracks. Let's go for another one, it looks like. Oh, my. Oh! Wow. Oh, but not enough energy to do the pin. All that momentum that Haviko had just... There it is. Oh, one-handed. And we've set hand on the rope. He's not gonna be Haviko like that. Not the grand champion, the former tag team champion, the global champion. This is Haviko, the mayor of Monkey Flip City. Haviko's gone up and down the ranks of 365, wrestled everybody. Uh oh, Lock is looking for it, maybe. Still holding that arm, but he's waiting for Haviko to get up, setting him up maybe for that F. Because no idea where Lack even is. He's stumbling after those two choke slams. Lack going for the F5. Here we go. We could have a new champion. Oh! Oh, the vehicle's out! Fine! He's going for it! He's going for it! Kill switch! It's over! This is it! He can retain right here! Hooks the leg! Two! No! He kicked out! Lack's kicked out! Oh my good! And Lack is kicked out! Got the lock! He's got the Fujiwara locked on! Right away, Amiko walks on that Fujiwara armbar, looking to retain his championship. Could we see Lack tap out? Oh, he's powering up. How is he doing it? First, he kicks out of the kill switch. Now, he's got him up. He's got Amiko up. Oh, there it is. Oh, is that going to be enough? It is. Lax the Dark is the new 365 Pro Wrestling Global Champion. Oh, I was not expecting it. I thought Hamiko was going to be able to do this one, but no. The Lord's Warrior, once again, the champion. Wow, we talk about all the history Hamiko just created in three weeks, but now Lax the Dark is the first ever two time global champion. Oh, let's have a look at it again. It started with these choke slams. Wow. Haviko not able to recover for a try. There is Haviko's kill switch. I thought it was over there. Not at all. Arm barber that leads right into the F5. And after that, it's all over. Taking him up here. Two warriors. Oh, but look at the respect. Raises his arm. Lock, in, lock went to pick up Haviko's arm. Haviko, no. You're the better man. Raises his arm tonight. I don't think we've seen the last of Laxadarth and Haviko fighting over that global championship. What a match. Oh, it was, it was just woo, beyond expectations. The crowd here at the Wedding Eagle Polish Hall loved it. Everybody, this is exactly what we're talking about. And this is going to lead us into upcoming matches. Like, is Haviko going to be back into the running? Who's, who's going to challenge the Lord's Warrior? I mean, it kind of technically took three of them to get the belt away from him in the first place. Woo! Everybody out there, gentle beings, thank you for being with us here at 365 Combat. I'm Ramon Carlton here with Eddie Osborne. Join us next time.
because it's going to be one heck of a show. Oh, and if you haven't third, heard, there's a new combat belt being uh, put up for grabs on uh, August 13th. Carlton.